to another ride along with goggles hope you're all doing good um here we are with doms 379 we've got a new skin going here so this is uh actually spig sent me photos of this cool skin and uh i just couldn't help myself i just had to get on it and uh put it on doms 379 because it's a looker and um so anyway yeah, we got the color match on the side badge for that uh, center stripe, and then the front is the body color, whatever you paint it. It's this is the color of the uh, the real life truck, and uh, I saw it in, in a few different versions: one with this sort of orangish center stripe, and one with a chocolate brown center stripe. And I did this version. I might have to do the other one too. <laughs> But uh, the body color is going to be paintable anyway because it's really hard to lock in this color. I can give you the hex code for it, I guess, if it comes to that. But uh, we got uh, Dom's trailer as well. So we got, we're got we teamed up. We got the whole Dom's thing going on. We're in Aho, which is, this is part of the um, Reforma deal. And we're going to go on up Gila Bend down through Tucson to uh douglas so to 3m and it's in a hurry which is kind of weird because it's uh um waste paper we got uh <laughs> sporty little engine it's a c12 from slav jerry so you see we got the inside i got painted options in here so the dash and everything's just taking its color from whatever you paint the body got the seat insert as well so we got all this color match stuff going on in here with the paint job I believe I only have 8,200 miles on this truck and my tires are at 31% wear already. That doesn't make any sense. After 100 yards, turn left. Anyway, uh, I thought I'd take this trip uh, today turn left. down here because I did it the other day, or actually last night with the K100E, I think it was. Was it? Hmm. Maybe it was rude as Peterbilt. I forget. Go straight. Anyway, uh, it was a cab over. <laughs> and uh, this is really interesting down here. It's kind of a cool drive out of here. Just, you know, desert, southern desert. County W900. I don't like those ones where it just bursts in on you right from like those ones. It's fun when it it's nice that it comes from further away. It 
She's at that one. Come on, kiss. Where am I at, uh, so random? That's, that's what I like when it comes from further away. After 100 yards, turn right. Turn right. Jeez, I thought I didn't get that one gear there and I hopped out of it right away. keep saying, a lot easier to drive these things in real life than it is in the game. Or at least if you're going to do the floating the gears and stuff. And your spatial awareness is way better in real life. But I gotta admit, this Toby uh, eye tracking, head tracking thing really helps. So the uh, scenery around here is pretty cool. All the, uh, I guess they were Sahara cactuses, or however you pronounce that. Got uh, six and a quarter horsepower. Get 
gonna have to speed here sooner or later. There we go. 75. Add a few clicks to by the cruise control for good measure. This gold color I'm using here is the same one I used on the uh, Folgers Racing skin. If it's not, it's just a tad darker, but it would have been one that I was uh, cooking up or cooking up around that time. Took quite a while to find a gold that uh, looked okay in the game. some reason my uh, frame counter isn't kicking in today. The one from my graphics card. Yeah, that's weird. So I imagine it might be because I didn't start the game with the graphics card, so we'll be running uh, standard boost uh, or there's a, you know, the graphics card is a factory or whatever, manufacturer overclocked um, Asus Tough Gaming. It is just running on its default setting right now, which isn't too bad. It's not looking terrible or anything. God, that guy's coming up the inside. I should have got over there before he, he got here. We got here too soon. We are gonna have to stop. Oh, it's close enough. Let's just roll. You know, the way we do.
guy's coming right up there. Ooh. The truck was holding back. That was interesting. Oh well, at least we didn't punt him. Yeah, kind of digging this paint job. Well, when I first saw it, I said, oh man. Uh oh, cross the line here. Now I can't back up. Um, yeah, when I saw it, I said, oh man. And there's a cab over version too. But I gotta find a front view of the cab over. So that, uh, can make that worth doing. So I've got it working already. Uh, you know, I, I just went hammer and tongs at it. And it's, it's I got to check it. I'm pretty sure I got it set for the uh, day cabs, the Merc, and the Ultra Cab as well. Like I just adjusted the uh, stripes. So this paint job right here should be good on all of the sleeper cabs. I just got to check it out. Make sure. And, uh... In the day cap, got to have a look at it, but I'm pretty sure it's good to go. And once again, I'm just going to leave it custom paint job. No, uh, stickers, no nothing. Just paint. Just like it would appear at a, a truck show. I should, I, you know, I could ghost in some DOT stuff, but I'm not gonna. Keep left. After 50 yards, turn left. Turn left. Kenworth 100th anniversary, part of the uh, my traffic pack. That one I have showing up. There's that one in the Chaparral Hotshot. I have the frequency turned down just a little below the others. So if you got the pack when you see the Chaparral and this one, you see it a little less frequently like you would the one over there, the Lost Arroyo. That one's over there is 0.5, and I think these ones here are 0.4 or 0.3 percent spawn rate. was the uh, K100E last night, that's right. I had the uh, draw mat on with the, uh, like, After little... 100 yards, turn right. The flat deck. It's kind of neat. And uh, a B-double fertilizer right. load. It was kind of cool. After 50 yards, turn left. I like that combo so much, I put a couple left. screenshots up on uh, Steam.
What's going on here? It looked like the wall of a mine for a sec. Maybe that's what it is. Oh, did we go by here the other day in the, in the other direction? Wow, oh, look at that, eh? Jeez, just stopped at the touristy thing. Yeah, look at that. Wow. Whoops. Get on the road here. That is quite something. for a while. ran into us. Exit right ahead. Gotta love the stuff that reform add to the map. Well, we're almost there. Going to 3M in Douglas, Arizona. This is way down on the border. Go straight. Oh, vehicle inspection, where is that? It's on the left. Oh, this one. Oh, shoot. Gotta get in the left lane here. Hope I'm not cutting anybody off. Well, that guy's right up our backside. Oh, boy. A little green light there. Seventy thousand pounds, maybe. Oh, oh, the scale's got a fence on it. Oh my God, we gotta Turn get. Turn around when possible. Gotta get out here to activate this gate. Here we're gonna. We're not gonna get in here. Could be nip and tuck as it is. in here and see what we weigh. I'm thinking 70, did I say? Sixty-nine, nine twenty-nine. Well, pretty dang close to 70. Now, I think I... Oh, there's no median there. Or there is a median, sorry. Can't go it that way. doing this video Monday morning I got to get out and crush one of my buddies has got his 29 Chevy Roadster hot rod in the world of wheels this coming weekend too and I gotta he's got like a super expensive super rare radiator cap for it it's freaking awesome 
and uh, it costs him a lot of money to get it. And he's coming over. He wants me to drill three holes around the base of it and put set screws in it so he can, uh, nobody can just take it off his car because that's how much he paid for it. So I got to get this video done, get out there, do that. Another buddy. I gotta, I gotta see if I can convince him. We gotta take the carburetor off his. He's got a small block Chevy in his um, Dodge panel, 36 Dodge panel, humpback. It's kind of a rare thing too. And but man, his he's got a Holly carb on it, and it is stanky. And he can't do really anything with the idle adjustment on it, so it's got to come off. Pretty sure the secondary throttle plate. Uh, adjustment screws got to be opened up a bit let it get a little air and then we'll be able to tune it right because you got to move around inside the building and get parked and stuff and it is so bad you'll make enemies if we don't fix it I gotta convince them uh, yards turn left yank that carburetor off and we'll tune it up turn left now ah, we got off a long Turn truck. Left. Hope this goes okay in here. <laughs> long truck with a spread axle on the trailer. Oh, I forgot to see which axle lifts on the trailer. I forget on this one. You have reached your destination. We'll have a look here after we decide where we're putting it. All the way around. Oh, yeah, that's going to be... It'll be tricky. Let's have a look at the uh, axle here, see what lifts. The back one. All right. Now, are we going to be able to maneuver once we get in there? No, I don't think so. All right, so I think what we got to do is, uh, how are we going to do this? I think we got to go. Oh, like this. Track is so long. But with that axle slid forward, we may be able to make up for it. Uh oh, we're going to go over ninety here. Crap, 14% damage. I just nicked that fence. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Well, it doesn't show it on here. I think it's full of hooey. Didn't change anything. I'm gonna have to go high speed reverse because we got time to make up here. It is running a little longer because of this. Oh man, I'm gonna get out of control. I think I'm going all the way around if I remember correctly. Gotta get my hand on the right spoke on the steering wheel, I'll get myself indexed again here. here somewhere where I don't know not oh, right there okay so can, gonna have to get her slowed down here
drop that axle now. I'll be driving forklifts on this truck. Trailer. Oh, we gotta do a better job than that. Holy. <laughs> we'll, be, we'll be driving any forklifts on there. We'll be doing the evil can evil jumping Snake Canyon with their forklifts. Back right up to the dock. Let's have a. Yep. Nice. I hate it when it uh, you go back to the dock and you drive out of the parking trigger. Oh, that went pretty good. That was a nice drive. Something a little out of the usual. On time, the whole nine yards. Sweet. So I'll uh, see if I can't get this skin uh, up on Steam. Um, I gotta just check it out on the other chassis and ca or cabs and whatever and see that it all looks okay. But uh, as usual, Dom's, man, love it. Love it. Love the truck. Love skinning it. It's uh, a pleasure. This is, you know, one of those treats in the game for me. As opposed to the pain in the neck of doing a lot of the other trucks that uh, I do. Anyway, as always, appreciate you guys following along and have a great one. And we'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.